Today I'm going to be showing you all how to install AltStore on your iOS device using macOS. And if you're looking to install AltStore using Windows, go ahead and check out my last video on this. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is head down to the description and click on the first link or you can type in altstore.io into Google. And I'll bring you to this page here and once you're on this page here, click on the download for macOS and then save it to your downloads folder or somewhere easy to access. Once the file is done downloading, open up Finder, go to that location, and then double click on the .zip file. And then you'll have an app called Alt Server. And what you want to do with this app is drag it over to your Applications folder. Now go to your Applications folder and double click on Alt Server. Then it's going to say Alt Server is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And you're going to want to click on Open. And now you should see it up in the top right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on it and then click on install mail plugin. Click on the blue install plugin, then type in your password. And it should say mail plugin installed. Now what we need to do is enable the plugin in mail. So go ahead and open up the mail app. Go to mail in the top left, preferences. Go to general and then go down to manage plugins. Then check the alt plugin.mail bundle, then click on allow access, and then click on apply and restart mail. And now your mail plugin's installed. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug in your iOS device into your Mac. So to do that, just grab a lightning cable, plug one end into your device, and then the other into your Mac. And on your iDevice, you may see a pop-up asking to trust this. And all you need to do for that is click trust and then put in your password. And if you've already connected your iDevice to your computer before, you're not going to need to trust it again. So don't worry if you don't see the pop-up. Once that device is plugged in, go back up to the Alt Store icon. Go to Install Alt Store. And then click on the device that is connected to your laptop. And for me, that's my iPad. Now type in your Apple ID and password and make sure that this is all lowercase. That is a uh, crucial step to this. If you type in any uppercase, then it will not work. Once your password and email is put in, click on install. And not too long after, you should see Alt Store now on your iOS device. And when you go to open it, you'll see something like this. And it'll say untrusted developer. And all we need to do to fix this is click on cancel, open up settings, go to general, Go to Profiles and Device Management. Then under Developer App, this will be your Apple ID. Click on that. And now you're going to want to click on Trust and then your Apple ID in quotes. And click on the red Trust button. Now that the app's trusted, we should be able to open that right up. And as you can see, Alt Store is now installed on our iOS device and running just great. Now the only thing you're going to need to do to keep this running is you're going to want to make sure that you have Mail open. And you're also going to want to make sure that you leave Alt Server running on your uh, Mac or desktop or whatever you're running this on. And a good way to do this is by clicking Launch at Login. And now Alt Server will be running all the time whenever your Mac's running. Last thing I recommend doing is going to Finder, go to your iDevice, scroll down on the general page, and then click on Show this iPad when on Wi Fi. And what this will allow is for you to wirelessly connect to Alt Server without having to use a cable. And the only thing you'll need to do is just have mail and alt server running and you'll be able to use alt store anytime you want on your iPad without having to use any cable. So it's pretty convenient. Oh, and also make sure to click on apply at the bottom. But yeah guys, that's basically it. If you have any troubles, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And like I said before, if you're trying to do this on Windows, go ahead and check out my other video. I tried to explain it as best as I could, and it's a little more complicated than this, so best of luck.